this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. Today's subject is surfing and playing the piano. Well, you, you might have clicked on this because you're wondering, what the heck is this going to be about? Now, I'm not talking about playing the piano while you're surfing, although that would be a very, that would be quite a trick. And I, I bet if I searched hard enough on the internet, I'd find somebody with a, some strap-on piano keyboard doing it. It seems, sounds like a fun thing uh, to get a lot of views. But what I'm talking about is the implications of the mentality of surfing and the mentality of playing the piano. Now, maybe it's just because I've been living in California for a while that this thought even occurs to me. But there are times when I'm playing the piano that I feel that sense of going in and out of the, the wave or in... It's, it's not the wave so much, but being in the zone when you're when surfing. Now, I've never surfed, just a disclaimer, so if I get this wrong, please, any of you surfers out there, let me know. But to be able to ride the wave, there are times you have to make a decision, a snap decision, as to how you're going to negotiate uh, what's in front of you. Because you, you, can, you can jump to a, a certain point that you think you can land on right, or you can try to play it safe, and you have to instantly be able to make those decisions. Well, you know, for example, if I'm playing a, a piece that's got, a, you know, a lot of technical challenges in it, I might want to push the limits a bit, but make sure I land right where I could, don't fall down, you know, and wipe out. So, for example, if I'm playing, the, let's just take the first section of the B-flat minor, um, pre, um, pardon me, scherzo. And, you know, how far can I take this? I'm going to, to, to kind of push the envelope a bit uh, on just this first section. And you'll see what I mean where I'm, I'm taxing myself going for it, but, and holding back and trying to, you know, ride the wave, not too far, not too close. You know, you have to challenge yourself, otherwise you'll lose steam on the whole music, musicality, but you've got to push far enough that you can keep it going. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play with abandon, you know, because if I wipe out here, you know, nobody gets hurt, right? I'm just playing the piano. So here's the beginning of the B-flat minor, scared of Chopin. I'm going to push it to its limits and hopefully not wipe out. And see if you can get a sense of what I'm talking about. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I could even demonstrate playing it safe first. Let's do that. I'm going to play it safe first. Then I'm going to go back and play it with more abandon where maybe I'll wipe out and maybe I won't. All right? Here's the first one, the safe version. wrong with that and you know <laughs> quite honestly it's kind of hard for me to to throttle down and in doing so in some ways I was in less control you know just like if you're trying to ride a wave safely you, you might not keep going you got to take those risks and make take those jumps at the right moment where you're going to land in your in the right place so now I'm going to let it go and see if it's better or worse let's find out
interesting, wasn't it? There were aspects of each that I liked, and it's finding that balance of how far can you push things and still land in the right place. And that is the parallel with surfing. You know, it's thinking instantaneously and being in the zone. More than that, I'd love to talk to any of you surfers out there, particularly the, those of you who are surfers who also play the piano, the fact that you have to get into a certain zone where you're not even thinking in words, you're just in the moment controlling what is around you and trying to stay on top of everything, whether it's a wave or a Chopin, it's all the same. It's a mental state that you must achieve in your music and in life. Thanks so much for joining me again. This is Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com. We'll see you next time.